Hey, it's Kevin Topol with JK on the Run, and today we saw the introduction of the MSN Direct service for Windows Mobile. I want to give you a quick walkthrough so you can see what that looks like. Got it running on my dash, and I'm using Wi-Fi for the connection right now. I just didn't feel like taking the SIM out of my uh, iPhone for the moment. And as you can see here, right on the main screen of the dash, the Today screen, in the middle section, we do have the MSN Direct. Now, one of our commenters has already said, gee, it takes up way too much room on my dash, and I think that's a very valid comment. Um, unfortunately, I have not seen any way to change the size of this in terms of the Today screen or the home screen options. Uh, basically, I've seen just one home screen setup that actually shows the MSN Direct information. So, at this point, you can see here, if I'm using my D-pad to maneuver up, down, left, right, uh, I've got the weather, it's 21 degrees and sunny. If I tap the center of my D-pad, I go right to the weather, and I've set this up for Philadelphia. And there's a more in the center. We'll do the options in the back in a second. I'm going to click more by hitting the center of my D-pad. And you'll see a little add up at the top center of the screen. And my left soft key is now view add, which I'm not going to do. And I've got a back here. And in the main screen, I can see more hourly information. I'm going to hit next again just to get the next few days. So you get a nice one, two, three look at um, the current weather, the hourly weather for the next couple of hours, the next couple of days, and then finally some other cities. So I'm going to hit back, which is my right soft key. That's going to bring me back. And that will bring me back again to my home screen. Now if I go to the right on my D-pad, you can see I've got Google Stock there. And I've pre-configured that. In fact, let's go in by hitting the center of the D-pad you can see we've got an edit on the left soft key so I'm going to press that and oh, let's see what's uh, what's a good stock I don't know how about what's Apple is it A A P L I don't remember and I'll hit OK yep looks like it is on 29 and I can just say OK to get out of here by using that left soft key. And now just pressing the center of the D-pad brings me to Apple, which is interesting. And it looks like I have uh, another ad, and I can press 1 for more information, or I can hit Next, which I'm hitting Next. So Next will scroll you through. And you can see that view ad at the top of every screen here, which is very interesting. So I'm going to use my right soft key. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back again. Actually, how are we doing? 31 points up for the Dow. Okay. And go back to that home screen. And hit the right side of my D-pad. And now I've got an ad. Spaces to go. Connect and share. Post photos from mobile. Definitely a, um, a mobile theme in most of these ads. If I right-click that D-pad again, I'm starting to get news. And you can see by the different color of the icon in the news, it's different types of news. Um, looks like, yeah, the purple is entertainment. Oh no, Roy Scheider died. That's a shame. Let's free up a little bit more. And hit select here. What we'll do is we'll get the, the ad at the top, and then we'll get a little bit of the actual story. And then if I hit next, what's going to happen is it's going to take me to... That wasn't what I wanted. Let me go back. I wanted to select... Let's go back. There we go. I'm still getting used to this. Ah, I went down on my D-pad. And then press 1 for more, which is very interesting. Watch what happens when you press 1. IE opens up, and it's going to take you to MSNBC. And we all know what the MS stands for. And here we can read the whole story. So it's just giving you a little tidbit on your home screen, and then it'll take you right to the MSN story, which is interesting. Let me go back home, pressing my home key. So you can you can um, also edit the types of news that you get. I'm going to go to options by hitting my left soft key. I can choose the news that I would like. Let's say I want, oh, no tech? Come on. That should be in there by default. And then we'll hit save. Okay, that's fine. And I'll do a refresh of data. It's now refreshing. You won't have to do this. It should be refreshing automatically. But I wanted to refresh it so I could get some tech news. 
And I'm hitting the back key, so let's go here and see if we have any tech news. Laser Blast Colorized Metals. Interesting. Repairs complete on two internet cables, and I did not cut either of them. Just want everybody to know that. So, you get the idea. You get tech news, entertainment news, sports, etc. Um, it's not bad. It's a. We have to realize this is a kind of a, a technical preview. It does take up a little bit too much space here, in my opinion, as well as other people's. And uh, hopefully, we'll see it so that it's a little more customizable. I remember when I had my spot watch going, I was able to choose my favorite teams, for example, in sports, and therefore I would get information on those teams in almost real time being sent over FM. I don't see that kind of option here, but I do see some promise here. If Microsoft can figure out how to get a little more customization in the views, and perhaps a little more customization in the type of information that we're going to get. I've been saying for a long time, MSN Direct is a nice compliment, or could be a nice compliment to Windows Mobile. I always figured we'd see it in, in FM radio, and uh, you know, figured that wouldn't be too hard to embed into a Windows Mobile device. But um, looks like they've gone with the wireless route in terms of Wi-Fi or cellular radio, and that works just as well. Doesn't require another radio, and uh, seems to be updating just fine. So. We will see what happens, but this at least gives you an idea if it's worth the download on your device right now. I think if you have a bigger screen, you're going to really enjoy this. On a smaller screen device like my Dash, not so much, not just yet anyway. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Bye.